Now let's try to understand how recursion works and why would we get that stack overflow error in case you forgot the breaking condition or if the depth of recursion is big. So let's use the factorial program to understand this. Now as you may know that a program's runtime usually creates a stack which is called a method stack or a call stack using which it keeps track of local variables or expression evaluation etc. Now this call stack in context of recursive methods is also called as recursion stack. It's one and the same thing, just a different name. Now let's say that the factorial method is called with a parameter 5. Inside the factorial method, it checks if the parameter is 0 and it is not. So this method returns 5 into factorial of 4. But factorial 4 itself is a method call whose value is not yet known. So this expression 5 into factorial 4 is stored in what is called as a stack frame and pushed into the recursion stack. And now the call is made to factorial 4. So this method is called again with a parameter 4. Then again call to the factorial method returns 4 into factorial 3 whose value is unknown. So this expression is stored in a stack frame and pushed down the recursion stack. And this keeps on happening until a known value is returned. So now we know that factorial of 0 is 1 and this value is replaced in the stack frame which has factorial 0 as part of the expression to be evaluated. So this value is replaced in that stack frame to get the value of factorial 1 now. And we keep popping stack frames and replacing the calculated factorial values. Until all the stack frames are popped from the recursion stack. And the value of the expression of the last stack frame is the result of the recursive method call. And that is the reason why if you forget the breaking condition, you get stack overflow error because the method keeps pushing stack frames into the stack never reaching the breaking condition and ultimately the stack is full and it overflows. All right. And sometimes you may also get a stack overflow error even after having a breaking condition. And that would happen if the recursive call is too deep. For example, you call the method with a very large parameter value. That is, there is a whole bunch of stack frames to be pushed into the stack before an answer can be arrived at. 